Arham, <laughs> what do we do when we when we are shooting? A lot of people are scared of scars. I'm not, and I felt that scars are beautiful. You know, it's it's a part of your journey. And if you have a scar from a battle that you won, then you have to flaunt it. Shall we? Let's go. Good. I'm a content creator, and I'm also an actor, a writer. I'm a mother. <laughs> And I think my introduction is incomplete if I don't say I'm a fitness enthusiast. There must be a mistake. It can't be me. Breast cancer happens to other people, not me. I think breast is just like any other part of the body. If I don't have an arm, how would I feel? For me, my breasts are equally important. They have a purpose to serve. I fed my babies with my breasts. They are a very important sexual organ for a woman. It's something that makes me feel like a woman. I spoke to my doctor and he gave me full assurance that this has been caught early and there's nothing to worry. Uh, we can save your breast. We just have to do a lumpectomy. My biggest fear at that point was the quality of life that I'm going to be living post the survival. Is it just going to be survival? Is it just going to be living? Or will I be able to do the things that I love? Because I love going to the gym, I love weight training. Will I be able to do that? Fitness, I think it's it's a time uh, of day for me where I connect with myself. I understand my own body and uh, that whole bond that is created between me and my body is it's like totally my me time. And uh, nothing else in the world matters at that time. I wanted my life to be even better after cancer. And I decided that, okay, if something is not in my control, like the cancer is not in my control, there's no point worrying about it and getting psyched about it. But when there is something in my control, why should I not take control of it and, you know, make, take matters in my own hand? I knew that the right side is the surgical area. So this hand was stuck here. I couldn't take it be beyond five degrees at that point. But I knew that my left side is good. I knew that my legs are good. So why should I not, you know, why should I stop myself from using those parts of my body when only this is the restricted area? So I started going to the gym, I think up after seven or eight days after my surgery. Talking about cancer, a lot of people told me that your cancer was fake. <laughs> I believe that as a social media personality, when you put yourself out there in front of people, you're actually giving them a right to judge you, okay? And then if you're giving them a right to judge you, then why would you get bothered about bad opinions? Most of the times what I share is happiness. And if somebody has a problem with that, you know, there's a button called unfollow, just, just unfollow that. <laughs> I think I must say what my kids did for me when I was recovering. Uh, firstly, Ariza, I remember this one time that she came to the hospital. She came to the hospital and I was trying to sleep and there was no position which was comfortable in which I could sleep. And she held my hand for half an hour and she sat next to me uh, and, uh, you know, made me sleep. And then when I came back home, Aram was really small. He had no idea what had happened. He hadn't heard the C word. There were bandages. I said, don't come near me. Don't come near my right side. And then I told him I cannot pick you up. So even if he's crying and I would go like this to him, he said, don't, don't pick me up. Don't pick me up. That sort of love always makes you recover faster. It always makes you feel blessed and, you know, happy. I have become different in the sense that to a certain extent, I would say I've become selfish. I started prioritizing my own happiness and I started uh, prioritizing the things that I like to do. So I could not have been able to do anything if my husband was not there. Mohit really supported me through the things that he could. And he did that and that made a lot of difference because that's a lot of pressure off the mind and you know that you can focus on just one thing, focus on being happy. So I feel that I'm really blessed to be able to do the things that I can and hence there's no point in mulling over things that I can't.
Federal Bank and News 18 Network present Sanjeevani United Against Cancer. Knowledge Partner, Tata Trusts.